As a bonus, we are going to use now Librosa to produce a spectrogram. And I will demonstrate what also I mean by the default values of different functions. So Librosa also has a function called STFT. It also has one function called SpecShow that we use to display. So we have here the documentation for SpecShow that displays a spectrogram, chromogram, a CQT, and others. So you also have many parameters here. So you need to look at the documentation. And it also has the function for um, uh, STFT. And in this case, we see that now the there are some different nomenclatures. So now we have the number NFFT here, the length of the window signal after padding with zeros. We have a hop length, which is the number of audio samples between adjacent STFT columns. We have the window length. The window, in this case here, is the same as the STFT from SciPy signal. But when we're plotting here, we are seeing a plot that looks quite different than this plot here. So this plot is showing from 20 to 20 kilohertz, but this plot here is showing to 8192 hertz. So this is why we didn't, we just call this function. So we didn't set the same parameters like we set here. And we, as expected, get some different results than here. A good exercise is to try to use Librosa STFT and SciPy Signal SFT and look at the parameters, understand the documentation and try to make the same spectrogram. And as a tip, I leave this code here by Brian McPhee that if I'm not um, mistaken is the creator of Librosa. And he has this um, code here talking about the Librosa STFT versus the SciPy STFT. And then you see the differences between these two functions. So with that, I leave you here. I hope this um, helps you in your seminar, but also everything related to signal processing because spectrograms are widely used not only in traditional signal processing but more and more in deep learning, machine learning and other applications. Thank you for your time and I see you in another opportunity.